The man holding the gun in this video is Doug Smith. He's hanging out the open door of a helicopter, preparing to dart a Yellowstone wolf in order to check the health of the animal. Putting a collar on, uh, taking a blood sample so we can determine uh, its conditions, what diseases it's been exposed to, uh, its genetics. Uh, then we weigh it, we take measurements, uh, uh, tooth, san or, uh, tooth measurements. So we do a full workup on these guys. And that's what we do with every wolf we've caught. We've probably got the largest data set on wolves uh, in the world. Smith saw it all when it came to wolves. He was there in 1995 when the first wolves were reintroduced to the park. He saw the initial explosive growth of the wolf population and then the crash. It's been flat ever since about 2008, around 10 packs, 100 wolves, mm -hmm. as compared to a high of 16 packs, mm -hmm. over 170 wolves in the early 2000s when they were preying on that huge elk population. Mm -hmm. An elk population that declined drastically as wolves increased. That set up Smith for some harsh criticism. You know, I've always been painted as kind of a, uh, a bunny hugger, environmentalist who loves wolves and hates elk. There couldn't be anything further from the truth. Uh, I love elk, I hunt elk, I hunt deer, I like guns, I ride horses. You know, those are common ground things that, you know, I like wolves too. We will greatly miss working with that. Guide Kara McGarry of Gardner says perhaps Smith's greatest strength is his ability to communicate. He's pragmatic, he's practical, he's so genuine when he talks about um, the status of wolves, wolf science, and he brings the information to his audience in a way that's very, um, you know, it's, it's very approachable. It's not academic. Yellowstone, I think, is better than it's ever been. At the same time, Smith says Yellowstone is as carnivore rich as it has ever been. That's hard for some people to stomach who grew up in a, in a world of values that has predators as killers. But what wasn't seen was the joy and pleasure and economic gain it's given people. That surprised even Smith. We didn't think the wolves were going to be visible. We didn't think anyone was going to see them. Now, watching wolves is big business. I mean, people come from all over the world to see wolves here. It's been estimated to generate $35 million of economic activity. That's part of the reason Smith, Park Superintendent Cam Shawley, and local guides reacted so forcefully a year ago when Montana expanded hunting of wolves along the borders of the park. Doesn't look good for our business. We definitely depend on a small number of packs uh, that are dwindling and we just fear that if it continues to go on we just won't have enough wolves to show people. A recent court ruling has temporarily set wolf hunt limits back to previous levels. While the issue is far from settled, Smith says look at the facts. This is a big part of life here uh, and it's an economic driver and we've managed it. That management overseen largely by Smith, is gaining high praise from Park Superintendent Cam Shawley, who says, quote, Doug epitomizes the very best of public service, and we thank him for his incredible contributions to wildlife conservation in Yellowstone and around the globe. For Smith, the reward is not praise but sharing his passion. You know, I love nature. That's been one of the driving forces of my entire life. To see people connect with nature like that is not that common in this world today. I mean, it's actually rare. And I think we need more of that. And so that really, and I hate to use a tired phrase, but it warms my heart. And, you know, it's mostly about the wolves. If I had a small part of it, well, all the better. Smith worked in Yellowstone for 28 years. John Shearer. MTN News.